Welcome back to Reality Files. Today we're expanding our perception. This is actually going to be the uh, the intro to really expanding your perception. So energy work. I was browsing the YouTube and watching some videos on this as of lately, and I am appalled. <laughs> the kind of information out there, sometimes it's accurate. Like yeah, you have to eat these things or see these colors or these visualizations help you move energy. But I'm not even kidding. It is so, it is so inadequate to actually teach you and equip you with the tools to unlock your energy field. Like people, our energy fields are pinned down. We need to unlock them. We need to feel the subtle, okay? I mean, this is the gateway to all the kinesis, like electrokinesis, aerokinesis, psychokinesis, all these. Also, this is the gateway to telepathy. Like, guys, you need to unlock your energy field to ascend. It's part of it. You need to familiarize yourself with the external, with the internal, all the flavors of the energy, and then wield it. So... Like, some of the information out there might be kind of accurate, but I swear to God, I don't think any of these people have actually opened chakras, like, all the way. Maybe a few. Like, <laughs> comment if, if you know some good people, but, like, opening your sacral chakra is not some kind of, like, oh, poof. Like, yeah, it's open, like, that feels good. No. To open your sacral chakra, you have to feel a fucking river outside of you. It's like a voom, 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 voom. And inside of you, it's like a whirlpool. And it is, it is so intense, it's crazy. Like, you guys understand you are sitting in a constant river? A constant river. So, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to make about five videos, five videos going over the basics of energy work. Feeling within, feeling without. Establishing connection and flow. How to breathe. I already did that one. Um, and some mental techniques and absolute keys to feeling more and moving more. More energy. And then we're going to have an advanced uh, video series. And I don't want you guys to worry yourselves about this yet. We're going to get into some of the, the darker sides of energy work. Um, and the great transcender. Like, the, we're going to be talking about the emerald tablets and sacred geometry. But to even, like, apply those things or utilize that information, you need to have the basics. And you have to be familiar with all the flavors of energy. And also, the darker side of energy work, like energy implants and all this shit a lot of people talk about. Yes, it's true, but don't worry about that whatsoever. Like, if you're not there yet where you can feel, where you can feel everything around you and within you, like, you don't need to worry about those kinds of things. Just worry about building your familiar, familiarity with the energy and realize that energy like, th this is not something to be scared of. This is going to feel uncomfortable at a lot of, t at most of the time. Energy work is teaching you to deal with uncomfortability. It's teaching you to expand your perception of who you are. And it's also teaching you, like through all the chakras and energy block, it's teaching you the many flavors of energy so you can wield it as your tool. So do not be scared of doing this stuff. Realize it's going to get uncomfortable. And that's a good sign. It's gonna be painful, weird, frustrating. But keep going. It really does change your world. And <laughs> I cannot wait to wield energy like I'm just flexing my right arm. It's not far away. So, 
that's the game plan. That's the layout. I hope you guys are pumped. Also, just a quick note here. I'm in the process of making a full video course with all this information, plus more like the best techniques and tips. Like I use hundreds of different tools to move energy and it's literally just like rapid fire one after another, one after another. And like you're building intuition and you're building like this vast resources of like how to move certain types of energy and like basically you're learning how to unlock your body so I'm gonna have all this in a video course which you can go get over on reality files and also in that course I'm gonna have uh, I'm gonna give you guys probably like 30 minutes to an hour of open discussion time with me because moving energy it is completely 100% based on your experience it is so unique to the individual because it's all techniques of the mind. And how you interpret something, how you experience something is very different from someone else. So I'm gonna try to lay a strong foundation, a foundation I wish I had throughout these next series. But you have to understand that everything I say is the base you build from. You use the tools I give you apply your own visualizations, go off of what I give, but find your own. You're gonna have, you're gonna have a slightly different version, always unique to yourself. And how, you have to start mastering how you think about energy, how you feel it, and how you affect it. So, um, that's why live Google Hangouts is gonna, I, like that's what I wish I had so badly like I spent six months six months I was like it took me six months just to basically debunk all this info that was told to me a lot of repeated information that wasn't understood really old information that didn't translate well or people just straight up bullshitting you like it took me a long time to debunk that stuff and I got so frustrated because like, you gotta understand, once you build your awareness of this stuff, you start to feel feel how clogged up you are. And if you don't have the tools to clear energy and clear these blockages, like I'm, I'm telling you right now, your body's ice, it's ice. If you, if you cannot move energy all the way through it and just feel the flow, it's ice. It's not something to get flustered about. It's not something to worry about. That's there for a reason. What does it feel like to jump in a hot tub after you're close to death with hypothermia, if you're that cold, right? If you jumped in a hot tub, you would die from shock. Well, you would die from shock if you felt the energy around you and within you. You have to slowly build up your perception to it. I'm not even kidding. It is like climbing into a warm tub when you are frozen. <laughs> so, and I didn't have any I, I had a, the completely wrong foundation for how I thought about energy and this led to so much frustration and there was no one I could like talk to like shit I it feels like I, so I had a bowling ball a bowling ball in my right hip for like a month like walking around I'd feel this constantly when I lay down and go to sleep at night it bugs me it aches it throbs like I can't release it I don't have the tools to release it so hopefully you can find tools to deal with your most urgent issues in these series. But understand that you can always go over to Reality Files and request a Google Hangout session with me. Or you can send me an email or message me. And we could, uh, I wanna start doing live Google Hangouts for everyone here. And also really help you with your problems because, like I said, teaching this stuff is, is all an act of pretense. Like, I don't know how you feel energy. I don't know your level of intuition with moving energy. And I don't know where you are with feeling all these blockages and cleansing your energy. So I think it would be really good to get some of you guys up on here 
uh, asking your questions and seeing if I can help you get some answers. So if that sounds like an interest to you, drop a comment, message me, just get in touch and we'll figure something out. Uh, yeah, I really hope you enjoy this series. Go watch, I'm gonna be releasing these constantly. Part one, how to feel within and how to feel without. The absolute essential basics for feeling energy anywhere. Get over there, I'll see you then. Thanks for watching, I'm Demetrius. See you next time.